Welcome to Snooze with Sam. If you enjoy these stories, I'd love if you supported me by becoming a patron. Here you can get early access to every story, among many other benefits. You can find the link in the description. Whatever kind of day you've had, and whatever you're going through, let's be grateful for everything we have, even and especially the small and simple things. Right now, I'd like you to get comfortable and relax your mind. Tomorrow is a new day. So as always, lie back, take a deep breath, and enjoy this story. This story is called Battle of the Stone Giants. was peaceful until the very moment it wasn't. There had been no warning, no build up, no signs of anything untoward on your travels. They had been hidden, unseen for months, but not now, no longer. You'd been minding your own business putting one foot in front of the other. Heavy, rain-soaked fur skins and leather, buckle-bound boots weighing you down in this wild Highland storm. Having set off early in the morning, you'd been trekking for hours. Traversing the contours of this dramatic, magical landscape. You 
estimated the total journey time to take you about a day. Not requiring you to stop overnight. The weather had limited your progress, as was typical. A prevailing storm from the northeast, blowing down cold Arctic air, which carried with it the heaviest of rainfall. You were exhausted, but in this early evening, despite the gloom, you knew you only had a few more hours remaining. You recognised these parts from your childhood. Although you've not been up this way for a very long time. Not many venture further north than they had to. They never have, and they likely never will, and with good reason. The only thing which might have suggested what was about to happen was the darkening of the clouds. They swirled around in the eye of the storm as expected, but seemed to quickly take on a sinister gloom in a matter of only moments. And then it happened. At first, the ground began to tremor. And then you heard the tremors. Just a caricature of the feeling under your sodden boots. You froze in your place, wondering what was happening. You felt your heartbeat racing, your pulse soaring. Total bewilderment and confusion as to the source of this subterranean thunder.
in the seconds that followed, you racked your brain, but exhaustion was all you found. The long day of being battered by Scotland's finest weather had left you drained and weary. Unable to re-engage with reality. Would it be an earthquake? You didn't think so. Or was it the thunder? Couldn't possibly be. And then it clicked in place. Suddenly, crisply, vividly. Your eyes widened, and face went pale as a ghost. Stone giants. The folklore had always said Scotland was home, not only to fairies and demons, but also giants. The limited size of the land made coexistence between these creatures quite difficult. So fighting over territory and using magic on enemies was common. One version of the legend said two giants were occupying the ridge just north of your village. But they were fleeing from a demon which had declared a state of war on them. When they were running for their lives, they unwisely looked back and were turned into a cluster of giant stones. Now they were standing at the old man of store to remind everyone that looking at a demon chasing after you turns you into the same material as this spectacular landscape.
And so the landscape had remained this way for many a millennia. But in the centuries of late, people had started to notice the landscape shifting. Sometimes unimaginably. Totally changing shape. Deforming in strange ways. and fully rearranging itself. The people of the villages couldn't make sense of what they were witnessing. Until one winter's morning, a local farmer was tending to his sheep in the wee small hours. When suddenly the earth shook violently before two enormous giants built from stone burst out of the ground up on the mountainside. They then proceeded to clash and engage in physical combat until one of the giants conceded, shrinking away back into the earth from which it came. For whatever reason, civil war had broken out among the giants. And myth had it, the war had raged on until this very day. And so, here you stood, punished by the raging storm, thunder booming all around you. Recalling these tales, told to you by your elders as a child. Feeling the earth shake underneath your feet. And then like a crack of lightning. The ground parted up on the hillside towards the jagged cliffs 
which hung above you. Great boulders were cast to the skies. Earth and mud was spun skywards, scattered in all directions. The cliffs themselves seemed to shake and twist. until you realise that they too started to move and sway. You squinted through the darkness of the night to try and see more clearly But it became obvious as to what you were witnessing. A stone giant was emerging from the land. Another thunderclap rattled around the cliffs like a natural auditorium, deafening you. Fearing what might come next. You scan your surroundings, looking for somewhere to hide. A big tree stump in the shelter of a nearby woodland. You would be out of view there. Leaping over the rocks, tufty grasses, and boggy peat. You shot behind the protection of the tree's remains and peered out over the top. Ready to capture this incomprehensible event Eyes wide, mouth open, you watched. The stone giant was stretching up to the sky. Shaking violently side to side, as if locked in an embrace with itself.
The beast roared and boomed its cries of thunder, which echoed off every surface for miles around. Lumps of stone, loose rocks, and dirt continued to fall from this great being as it wrestled itself from the land. The night air concealed much of the detail of this giant. But it seemed to have the stature of a bear. Great stocky granite legs, met a wide, deep torso, and thick, dense arms, neck, and head. Or so you thought, This great, swaying, roaring being seemed in distress. The ground still shaking for seconds after each giant leg made contact with the ground. But then, the giant separated, splitting into two. You strained your eyes further in the lashing rain, attempting to make clear what you couldn't make sense of. But then it hit you. It was two giants, locked in combat. Another big flash of lightning sent a brief spotlight on these behemoths. Illuminating their features. The storm water washed off their heads and shoulders like a waterfall. The lightning picking out highlights on their pale stone facades. Bouncing off the wet faces of the rock. The 
Their faces were somber, featureless, statuesque. Belying their emotions. It was like watching two humans in slow motion. The way they swung great swings of their granite fists. Clashing with shattering booms through the night sky. Splinters and shards of shale soared through the sky, showering the moors and mountainsides. Minutes went on and the two giants persisted, trading blow for blow, neither backing down, nor showing any signs of weakness. You wondered what this story was. Were they great nemesis in a past life? Destined to come to blows through history? Were they brothers, father and son, or were they fighting for the love of a woman? You guessed you'd never know. The battle wore on, you still pinned to your post, unable to look away. The storm strengthened, the wind picking up which carried the rain more horizontally than vertically. One of the giant rock creatures lost its footing, slipping slightly though a small slip for the giant meant a ton of earth and scree was bulldozed from beneath its foot. The landscape 
on which they fought was changing as quickly as the clouds shifted in the sky. Noticing this slip, the other giant saw its opportunity. Lunging forwards and striking its opponent in the shoulder, throwing it further off balance. It was this move which determined the battle's fate. The unsteadied giant began to fall, arms flailing in a feeble attempt to regain control. But it was not enough. It came down hard on the ground. Rock and shards exploding in every direction. Huge boulders careered down the hillside. Some gathering momentum and becoming airborne again and again. In the giant's place was a pile of rubble. It was gone. Over in a flash. One simple error had been the demise of this giant. Through the driving rain, you peered at the victor. It stood there, over its opponent, visually exhausted. Silence seemed to deafen your ears. All was still. Finally, the giant began to move. turning on its heel and aiming for the hills. (laughs) 
slowly and lazily, evidently feeling defeated itself. It trudged away, looking dejected, as if it was experiencing sorrow or a deep sadness. The giant was disappearing into the storm. You breathed at last, feeling as though you'd held your breath for an eternity whilst you watched on. without thinking, for fear of reasonable doubt regarding your next decisions. 